Macron has been urged to put any conflict with UK aside to deal with migrant crisis on channel. France's President Emmanuel Macron has been urged to get over his detractions on Brexit and realise the UK must be included in plans to end the migrant crisis grappling the European Union. France and the UK have been at loggerheads for months over the perceived failure of French border patrols to prevent migrants in Calais and other encampments on the French coast from trying to cross the Channel into Britain. Preeti Patel was scheduled to meet with her counterparts from France, Belgium, and the Netherlands on Sunday but ultimately uninvited in retaliation for Boris Johnson publicly releasing a letter to Emmanuel Macron outlining his proposals to address the migrant crisis. Former special adviser Claire Pearsall hit out at President Macron for his conduct and demanded he stop throwing toys out of the pram. Speaking to LBC, Ms Pearsall said, this is throwing toys out of the pram on a very large scale. There is a problem, it is bigger than a Franco-English argument that has occurred. We need to be part of the solution. You need to look at a Europe-wide problem, and we're not in the European Union anymore but we're still in Europe. She continued, he needs to get over that. President Macron needs to move on from the fact that we've had Brexit, it has happened. We can still be part of the solution just because we're not part of the bloc with the other 27 member states. The letter Mr Johnson released on his Twitter on Thursday evening angered the French, suggesting the conversation should have been kept private. In the document, the Prime Minister set out five steps the two countries could take to deter migrants from making the perilous journey after 27 people died trying to cross the Channel. Preeti Patel warned failure to cooperate on the European level would lead to even worse scenes in the Channel this winter. She said, as I have said time and time again, there is no quick fix, no silver bullet. The UK cannot tackle this issue alone, and across Europe we all need to step up take responsibility, and work together in a time of crisis. We will not shy away from the challenge we face, and next week I will continue to push for greater cooperation with European partners because a failure to do so could result in even worse scenes in the freezing water during the coming winter months. A spokesman said both ministers acknowledged that returns agreements, allowing migrants to be sent from the UK back to other EU nations, were essential for breaking the criminal business model operated by organised crime gangs who charge more than £3,000 per illegal crossing. France has repeatedly refused to consider a deal on returning migrants from the UK. A Whitehall source said, we will this week have more talks with counterparts on how we can work together to resolve this Europe-wide crisis. Preeti's Nationality and Borders Bill is the first step in addressing the broken asylum system and the pull factors it creates. Last night French Interior Minister Gerald Darmanin blamed Britain for the Channel crisis, saying, if migrants are coming to Calais, Dunkirk or northern France. It's because they are attracted by England, especially the labour market which means you can work in England without any identification. At yesterday's meeting, France agreed to allow aerial surveillance of its coastline by Frontex, the European Border and Coast Guard Agency from Wednesday. France had repeatedly rejected offers of aerial reconnaissance planes from the UK. A UK government source said, we want close collaboration and we want to work together. For this to happen then we must be around the table. A Home Office spokesman said Ms Patel spoke with Dutch Migration Minister Ranky Brook as Noel and they agreed that the tragic incidents of last week demonstrate the need for European partners to work together. The spokesman added, the Home Secretary expressed that it was unfortunate that she wouldn't be present at, the, meeting of interior ministers in Calais to discuss this issue. The Home Secretary and Minister for Migration discussed ideas for enhanced bilateral and EU cooperation, including the need to tackle the criminal gangs that are orchestrating these deadly journeys through shared intelligence and joint law enforcement initiatives. Both agreed that returns agreements are essential for breaking the criminal business model. Health Secretary Sajid Javid said on his Sunday media round, it must stop. Now of course we can't just do it on our own. We do need the cooperation of the French, I hope the French will work with us. I think the Prime Minister was absolutely right to set out the five areas where we certainly could cooperate more.